here clapping. It's a joke that never gets it's, old, but it never gets laughed. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Ryefield Studios. Uh, it's your boys up, Ben and Shane What's here with up? another pod couch. I'm over on this side. Hey there. Today we got order and entropy. <laughs> Big name change here, guys. What's up with that? What's up with that? Well, when it came down to it, we first made the band name about three years ago, and uh, I thought that was a really good name, Entropy. So entropy. I'm kind of fairly original. Yeah, man. And then. A few months after we made the name, I had paid my friend to make me a new logo and this and that. <laughs> that was on Spotify. <laughs> There's like 3,000 other entries. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's right. Yeah. It's, it's such, the way it goes. It's eh? a common word, man. I use it every day. How did you guys sure. think of that? Yeah. Man. <laughs> every, it, almost three times a day I'm saying, no. <laughs> uh, yeah. Destroying me right now. It's not fair. Um, no. In all honesty, uh, there was a lot of entropies. There was a lot of entropies. And, uh, I felt kind of one way to differentiate ourselves from all of it would be to just make it order and entropy. Yeah. And why? Yeah. Because that can't exist. Right. It's an oxymoron in itself. Like right. Paradox. Nice. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> Fucking cool. Dude. It is. We are order and entropy. Order now, it, of now entropy. it's order and entropy. I know you guys introduced yourself in the lab of the whiskey pit, but let's go through it again. We got Hayden, Ollie. Oliver, yes, sir. Either or, yeah. Uh, Damon, uh, yes, sir. Travis Dow, Travis, and uh, Marlon. Fucking a, Damn. I got them all, dude. Nailed it. Uh, you guys can introduce <laughs> introduce yourselves one by one if you want. Hi, I'm Ollie, the uh, dog that stole my water bottle. That's a okay. <laughs> he likes he, to play with. He chews well, that's up. That's fine. I don't mind. He that's chews silly. on those ones. Oh, Scully's little baby. That's, that's so Scully. He's a little rascal. Oh, that's so cute. We love your dog. He's amazing. Oh, so He's been cute. the best part of this experience. <laughs> That's creation. the best part. Yeah. Well, the two, there's, there's two dogs. There's two dogs. Okay, so there's two yeah. best parts. Yeah. yeah, Ace is an asshole, though. He's <laughs> <laughs> a nice, real sweet guy. Studio studio dogs dogs dogs. He barks at fucking Amazing. everyone. Yeah, man. Boys, good fucking set. Wicked. Yeah. That, was, that was fucking tight. Absolutely All wicked. Shit. How did that feel, boys? Sound good in here? Good. Really good. Yeah. good. You were saying it felt nice. kind of like a show, eh? Not just like a jam, but like a show a bit? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no. The, Fucking right, I man. I screwed everything. No, seriously, really involved. At one point, I kind of forgot where I was. <laughs> really? Same, yeah. yeah. Perfect. So you can well, anyway. to that level. Fucking sweet. The lights That's what we're going blo- for. block it out, Ace. So uh, the the lights. Yeah, yeah, sure. It's Maybe awesome, eh? Oh, it's deadly. Yeah, that's sick. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, like, one thing you guys could definitely have is a gig simulator experience here. <laughs> I'm not sure if you considered that. Maybe but, in the yeah. metaverse or something we can all... <laughs> the metaverse. Yeah. 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 Shoot some DMs. Yeah. 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 Make it work. Yeah. No, that was a wicked set, boys, yeah. for sure. Oh, yeah. It Tight, heavy. I fucking loved it. Have you guys been doing uh, lots of gigs since stuff has been sort of opening up, it or seems, lately? You got stuff coming up. In regards to that, uh, we have a few shows. Uh, Hayden, we have a show on March. March 11th at the Richmond Tavern in London will be our next gig. Hell yeah. Uh, we played once, kind of like when it was opening up again about a year ago. No, it was last summer. We yep. played at um, Dundas and Sons, also on the... Right, right on. So we totally yeah. did do a show during the craziness, for sure. Yeah, so we're fun, in the perfect fun. month of August where everything was okay for 60 days, <laughs> yeah. I guess, yeah. right? Yeah. Was it yeah. really? That sweet window, how did that go? Yeah. It, our August show? I thought it was pretty well. Awesome. Good yeah. turnout still? Good time. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. 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 Bob Ross Dundas, London, Dundas and Sons, like, they're amazing. Great venue to work with. And Fucking it was a great show. Sweet. Hell yeah, man. That's awesome. Yeah, Shout the London scene's guys. cool, so there's a lot of help and support in the London scene, for sure. Yeah, man. That's for awesome. For the gig on the March 11th, the next gig you can catch us at is in Guelph, Club Onyx. This gig is put on by Chronic Noise. Chronic Noise. Rick, Rick Hall. Hall. Thank you. Uncle, Uncle, Uncle Rick. Rick. We Uncle love Rick. you. Uncle Rick. He's bringing us to Guelph. <laughs> To Club Sweet. Onyx. Sweet. We can yeah. give uh, Chronic, Chronic Noise, Noise a shout out. Yes, please do. Yeah, yeah, man. Man. Uncle, Uncle Rick, Rick, we're giving you a shout out. Thanks for all the support you've been giving us. Hell yeah, man. And thanks Hell to yeah. Richmond, too, for the show on yeah. the 11th. All the support is amazing. Fucking right. Fucking right. I'll have to try to be there for March 11th. Please do. Oh, please. Oh, yeah. Yeah. As long as I can get in, man. Or I'll how is Guelph there. as a drive from here? Is Guelph along? Guelph's not too bad either. I'll come start a pit. Fuck yeah. I'll get there. Oh, please, bud. That'd be sick. What's that, man? That's what it's all shit. about. Right? Yeah. So if you're cool to elaborate on that a little yeah. bit, that'd be sweet. Yeah. Frank. The current lineup of the band that really kind of just came into existence about like 10 oh, minutes ago yeah. when we said we're order into free. <laughs> yeah, that band consists of obviously Damon, Oliver, Hayden, Marlon, and myself. So sweet. we are order and entropy. 
know, Entropy has a sub-history that started with me. Right. I wanted to start a metal band about five years ago. Let's shout out, like, Riley Meeker, okay? Like, he yeah. was a real bro for the beginning of the band and our Sweet. original drummer. And he jammed with me. And we're also definitely got to shout out Matt Corey, for sure. He is a founding member. He was my neighbor. Sweet. He was a friend. He was somebody that before the Canadian legalization, he may have been somebody I visited right. on a regular basis. Right. 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 Enough right. said. Right. Enough my said. Text. Yeah. Okay. Enough said. And so yeah, the three of us were like, let's do heavy stuff. And that we yeah. wrote one of the songs we played tonight, No Rain, No Rainbow. That's yep. a song yep. from definitely back from then. Sweet. Inspired by Matt's influence on my playing. I play rock, so right. metal was something I set out to try to do. Right. So yeah, along the way, we had that incantation of the band, Incarnation. Yeah. And then that incantation was early sweet. on, so then this is pretty cool, like really important because our entropy, especially ordered entropy, is very much, has a huge vocal element that is Oliver. And so right. I posted something on Facebook and Oliver, why, why did you even respond to my Facebook post? I was bored. Yeah. I was bored. <laughs> I don't yeah, think he I was, was even bored. serious. I was bored. Yeah, he liked. He like liked my post. Yeah, like no, looking actually, for a that was the thing. I actually, yeah, yeah. I didn't even he's just like, yeah. I just liked it. Just yeah, like, liked I know that it. struggle, bro. I know that struggle. Yeah, yeah. right. He just was feeling am. it, and yeah. you were playing in a band at that time called Being. But I still am playing in Being, and you continue to do that. So, are you guys gonna come on the show? Um, if I can get my buddy from Vancouver here, we will. Oh, uh, we're uh, we're just yeah. beat down yeah. hardcore. Beat down death metal. Sounds good. Sweet. Sounds like Check I out like it. <laughs> and he was playing guitar in that band, and I nice. saw him play live, and he was a cool guy. And so he liked my status. He we jammed. He, he and I clicked. Him and Riley are one of our founding drummer, who is was like I'm older, and Riley is way younger. Was in his teen years. Right. When he was doing it, and we both thought Oliver's vocals was like very suited to what we were going for for right. this band. Dude, which it, yeah. a lot of people describe us as a hardcore. Yeah. Right. We've got knock loose a lot of times. I fucking for sure, love early on in, loose, our, in our time. Okay. So anyway, so so that established sort of our sound, and then moving forward, there is some member changes, but like fast forward. Hayden, okay, he became a huge part of this band about two years ago, roughly, right when he started the MIA program in London. So, Hayden, you... Yeah, we met at the Hamilton. Uh, I was in the shitty high school emo punk band. Oh, yeah. Uh, that and how old were you? Not shitty. Fuck. It's all good. How old were you? No, we were bad. <laughs> oh, he was, he was bad. Hayden was like <laughs> 16 or 17. So, was Hayden like, was about 16 or 17. He was like 16. And then, like, uh, Travis's other rock band, Rattlesnake Hotel was playing. They're pretty killer, too. Oh, okay. I've heard of you guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, Travis. Yeah. I've messaged Rattlesnake Hotel on Facebook what to try and come fuck, here, too. What the fuck, bro? Okay. There's something wrong with you. Fight, 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 fight. Never got a response. Oh, next question. Travis. <laughs> no, Rattlesnake Hotel, absolutely, 100%. I've been scheming since the first day we talked. We'll, okay. We'll also all right. And lots of us have other projects that we would love to yeah. talk oh, yeah. more You're about. all welcome. Sweet. We're going to talk yeah. about With all your of attitude, them. there's no reason our other projects would not want to be working. Hell yeah. Place like Fucking this. right, man. But That's yeah, so Hayden was an MIA and he has, I knew that he was starting something that I've known MIA students in the, in Rattlesnakes exists. I've been in the scene for about 15 years. Right. So I've known a lot of MIA right. people. I knew yeah. the journey he was on and he got involved in this band. Uh, and then not long after you also responded. Now yeah. he is in a band, Marlin, called Mirage 13. So if you want to say something about that band at oh. all, just you were playing with them. We played a show. Yeah, I've been with the band uh, with Mirage 13 for almost four years now, I guess. Oh, yeah. Uh, had our first show was a New Year's show together, and I had one practice leading up to that, and it, just, <laughs> it worked out super well. Yeah, no they're pressure. amazing. Yeah, dude. They're awesome. No Garage pressure. 13 no is dude. my nomination. Yeah. My nomination for the next oh, okay. Ryfield Studios band is Where's definitely yeah. Garage 13. About it. They're amazing. Sweet, dude. Hell yeah, man. They're gonna, they're gonna yeah. do it. No Cam worries. The camera loves them. Like, how could they not? Sweet. And so, yeah, Marlon was a drummer. Ollie and I played a show with him with our priest drummer, yeah. Riley. Yeah. Riley and you and Clift are our last drummer. You guys kind of still have friends, and you're still good <laughs> friends, for so sure. Well. It was just a natural Sweet. thing. Ollie Sweet. and Marlon Click, myself and Marlon Click. Yeah. And so, yeah, he had been, we chit chatted for like a couple months oh, before you officially. Jam, right, then we was, move forward with it because right, you're busy yeah. and your life and move, moving. I was moving back and forth between like a Simcoe yeah. area, right? Yeah. Right. Simcoe? Yeah. Yes. 
So he's repping Simcoe also tonight. Yeah. Shout out Simcoe. Simcoe. Yeah. Simcoe. Not too far from here. But yeah, so then he also got in the mix, okay? And then, so just moving the story right along, there was another <laughs> member named, who we super have to shout out, named, he is really still a member, Chris Costa. He is like a producer in right. the wings for us. He's right. currently producing stuff for us. Yep. All the stuff we're releasing soon uh, on our EP. <laughs> yeah. A lot of it comes from Chris in one way. All of it comes from Chris in one way or another. Thank you, Chris. Sweet. So thank He's you, kind of like Band Daddy. And Chris band is dead. Chris's <laughs> studio's oh, name. Shout out Band Daddy. Conjure. Conjure. Conjure Studios. Tell them about it. Yeah, yeah you want to get do some cool live recordings? Other than having some recordings from here, you should check out Conjure Studios. Yeah, yeah man. We're, we're not like shying away from showing out other studios. We want oh, to man. It's, it's all support it's here. It's all support. Conjure Studios. Yeah, that's right. Thomas. Hell Chris yeah. is amazing. His band Pro Sector absolutely freaking slaps. Fire. So hard. <laughs> They're crazy good. Fucking and, slaps. Yeah, he essentially, I would describe him as a producer who recorded our early stuff yep. with our previous bass player. He had a strong connection to that bass player as bandmates. Right. And then became our a producer slash right. band member for all of the COVID years, which Just fell dragged in out and became a long thing. That came to an end. And then within like a, like a month ago of playing tonight's show, yeah. that is when Damon nice. who is my friend who is here tonight. Jenna, Jenna, say hi. <laughs> She's back there. Yeah. <laughs> She's coming in. Okay. Yeah. That is Jenna, my friend, and then I met her. That is Damon is Jenna's boyfriend. So nice. Damon's awesome. She told me oh, he would play. Damon nice went out. Stuff. We went out and bought a bass. He got a bass he needed to yeah. play this kind of music. Just tune yep. in. We set him up and he just worked his butt off to yeah, get man. tonight and, and play tonight with crushed us. It, so, man. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome Damon. Absolutely. And that is the creation of order and energy. Chunky, yeah, fucking right, man. chunky fucking yeah, exactly. bass. Yeah, man. Hell yeah. Had, had that Trey Sully just booming. Oh, yeah. yeah. Chunk. Was, Everybody a long does, story, but thank you for No, man, that's what we like, man. Yeah. That's what we like. <laughs> What's going on? Ollie, those fucking vocals. So you got like this punk, screaming fucking yeah, man. metal style. Oh, thank you. Seriously. Yeah. It, it fits I, so well with everything else. I, and really it, and it. I, I just got to give you a shout out. Cause, no, man. Uh, I, yeah. Thank you. I'll be honest. I have a really hard time liking my own vocals. Uh, like, no, oh, dude, no, I'm man. I'm at this. Like, I spent most of my morning today being like, you have to think you're good. Oh, if you don't, you're going to suck ass. If you no. suck ass, you're a suck ass hire. Yeah, you got to uh, pump and, yourself up. Right, yeah. no, no, seriously. Yeah, yeah, I really appreciate yourself. that. Yeah, guys. man. Yeah, I you. love and, it. It's but just, no, you just kill distorted it, dude. fucking yeah. yelling. I'll man, be honest. Like, uh, Travis asked me to yell for him one day. I did it for fun. And, uh, it was absolutely. You were a guitar player who was going to try right. to be do it because you liked yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Was, I just thought, like, hey, this would be fun yeah. to do it. Yeah. Which is awesome. Yeah. And apparently y'all like my voice, so I think you're all idiots, but cool. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. I don't think ever be like, oh, yeah. I'm not good or nothing. Like, yeah. fucking, you kill it, dude. Embrace that he shit. Kills it, yeah. Yeah. Wear, and wear that, it like another yeah. nut in your nutsack or something. You yeah. know, yeah. Just no big like, nuts, bro. <laughs> I can't have a third. But I mean, like, to ask him that, that touches on a point like about what we're talking about which is like the current like metal scene is all over the place there's hardcore oh, but yeah. there's oh, a yeah. huge deathcore scene there's a huge oh, deathcore yeah. scene yep. in London and yeah. you know as as a band who's not deathcore but respects deathcore and stuff sure. for what he's talking about there is a huge pressure today with vocalists like Will Ramos who are absolutely just insane just metal vocalists okay. it's hard to compete with yeah. we yeah. learned I think Ollie learned to find his own voice and you, that you have your thing. own distinct sound yeah, versus man. trying to be a cookie cutter copy of somebody who yeah. if you're not yeah. going to really beat Will Ramos yeah. so maybe do your own thing yeah, you, don't right? gotta, you don't gotta try to get do. the gutturals and the fry screams and you oh, know if you can do that like that's awesome oh, but yeah. that's not you yeah. but that's like, not you right Man, yeah, that's exactly it. Right? Fits, fits Seriously. so tight. I yeah. really appreciate love it. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And amazing. also, I still have my voice, so I'm getting better, baby. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah dude, for He's sure. He's developing that for that's sure. Right. Yeah. And I think deathcore will continue to be something that really shapes our sound, but so will right. other kinds of music like rock, and right. so will a lot of other genres. Yeah, yeah. Just deathcore for sure. That's awesome. That actually brings me right into my other question: What are some influences you guys have individually and together yeah, as a group? For sure. Is it diverse? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Let's go, man. Damon, I love that question. Damon hasn't said much. Damon hasn't said much. So what he listens yeah, to? Yeah, let's music. start here. Oh, uh, I listen to pretty much everything. Yeah, man. From like classic rock yeah. to like porno grind. <laughs> right. Fucking brutal. Like anything, man. dude. Sometimes Barbie Girl comes on. Oh yeah. Oh, like fuck yeah. you gotta leave that shit on it, though. 
Yeah. Yeah. Jam. Yeah. You gotta, you're, you have to. You're going to be like on for Slaughtered Travail. I know right? that, right? Like, yeah. Sometimes it just yeah. happens. Because <laughs> like, yeah. you can't just listen to one. No. No, man. One genre of music. That's right. Or, like, you get so stained about it, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Would you? Oh, yeah. I, I would say your taste is pretty extreme. Like you like some extreme metal. Though, oh, I yeah. do. Yes. Yeah. I do. <laughs> I do. Yes. I do. Yeah. Name I do. <laughs> <laughs> what was that band we were listening to that had What's like brutal barn, know, the Barnyard Animal Band? What was it? Most what brutal the, shit I know. What yeah. was that Barnyard oh, band? What is the most brutal band you know? Yeah, like oh, literally like torso fuck. Torso fuck. Oh, I'm sold. They fucked uh, us. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember that one thing you showed me? It was like the Barnyard band. They were doing like you showed it to me at your place. It was like. Different barnyard noises throughout the whole <laughs> what the fuck? That deathcore band. <laughs> oh, that's Gutalax. Okay. What is it? Gutalax. Gutalax. Like, Gutalax. Gutalax. Check that Checks shit out. Check the in, like, <laughs> yeah. oh, okay. slam band all about, like, it actually it's everything. shit and vomit. <laughs> no. Actually, it's everything. Right. Right. Dude, right right on, right right on. Serious yeah. business. Yeah, right on, right on. So you're a pretty extreme guy, eh? You like the heavy <laughs> shit, but you're, you're not afraid to listen to some fucking eagles or something. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah whatever. Exactly. Yeah. Fucking right, man. Yeah, Me sweet. too, kind of, actually. Yeah. Fucking right. Like uh, have you ever man. heard of Alien Fucker? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Cemetery <laughs> Rapist. <laughs> All kinds of shit. Uh, Sperm Swamp. <laughs> Sperm Swamp. <laughs> so <laughs> details. You're making so he's, he's, yeah, a, right? he's, <laughs> he's into some serious <laughs> you're shit. You're making shit up over there. <laughs> you're making <laughs> shit. <laughs> Sperm <laughs> Swamp? Yeah, who signed them? Yeah. Poster Massacre. <laughs> Come Dump Records. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck. <laughs> well, that's awesome. What about you, all? Oh, uh, man, in regards, uh, I listen to kind of uh, a weird mixture of like emo, a little bit Great. of metal, a little bit of pop punk. Sure. Uh, if I had to name three bands for fun, like Law Dispute is one of my favorites. Touche Mori is one of my favorites. And a band called Say Anything because they're just weird. Yeah, because yeah. they're just weird. Mm. Yeah. yeah, man. Don't forget oh, like Ken Ashi. Oh, and uh, yeah. sir, I need to shout out Ken Ashi from Philadelphia because yeah. uh, Peter Rono probably has influenced my vocals so much. Just hearing this man yell out his feelings about life. Right. Yeah. Motherfucking sideways. What are, sorry, what's that name again? Uh, the band's called Kanashi. Kanashi. Yes. I'll be sure to check that uh, out. I, You'll I, be very surprised. Yeah, I'll be very surprised. Yeah, it's a uh, weird mouthcore. Yeah. It's fun. I like my F core, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, just, it's really uh, very artistic. The the fact they got signed to Equal Vision Records just kind of gave me hope on yeah, weird music. Not Paul Lynn structures, not Yeah, there's not still not a market for it, for it right? Yeah. You can still exactly. there's, exactly. there's hope for it still, right? It just right. blew my mind. Maybe yeah, go, man. hell yeah. Yeah. Absolutely right. doing your own thing vocally, especially in that band, for sure. Right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'll be sure to check them out. Yeah. Me and Oliver share a lot of the same music taste. Sweet. Yeah, we uh, do. I listen to a lot of emo music, a lot right of on. post-hardcore, and then just like more easy-core alt-metals. Right. Um, again, let's top three. Let us be Avatar. Avatar's sweet, eh? Oh, yeah, they're pretty good. I like sweet. them. I Avatar's like them. Good. They're blowing up lately, actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they've been like... Yeah. Their new tour was good. Who were they with on that? Probably more like sort of shock. Did they, did they play close? Or... They, was it they, with they like go to America? They like the problem with European bands of like that caliber is they don't play Toronto too often because right. you have like Budweiser and then you have like the big big venues, but the yeah. big big venues don't like to do hard hard shows. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. right. So there's not really Bullshit. like a place in Toronto right. for it. Right. They go to like Calgary <laughs> and they go to Quebec. <laughs> right. right. So they yeah. come kind of close, but never never, right. never, yeah. like never Toronto, close enough. Which yeah. Sucks. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. We seen uh, Metallica at the Rogers Center, Ooh, yeah. nice. but I mean, I'm, I'm sure the Rogers Center was happy to have Metallica. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's right. probably it. Exactly. Right? Yeah, yeah, right on. I need to run outside. Yeah, no problem. Go for it, dude. Oh, all good, all good. Uh, uh, we can keep rolling here. What about you, Trev? Yeah, keep moving along for yeah? sure. Absolutely. All right. Always just, always just gotta do his thing. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. No. Like, slip yeah. right up to uh, Travster. Yeah. So for sure, and then like Travster. Yeah, nice master track. <laughs> again, <Master> like <laughs> to build on some of the stuff that these other guys were talking about, like like Damon, I have a very eclectic, hugely eclectic taste, like yeah. massively, and 
everybody says that, and it is true for everybody, but I honestly like really enjoy classical music. I watch classical performances at the university, Western University, for years. Oh, yeah. It's actually part of my job. Oh, yeah. Which I won't get into my job, really. It's sort of personal, but like my job sure. took me to really cool events in my community. Fucking right. And one of those things was watching classical performances yeah. like on a weekly basis, like grad Sweet. students playing violin, piano, yeah, man. and watching Spicy. some technical excellence on yeah, that kind yeah, of stuff. Dude. And really went down a rabbit hole of like great playing about 10 years ago with some of this stuff. So, like, I'm really talking about everything, but, like, to kind of pinpoint a little more for me, since I started this band, I've, like, really gravitated to the deathcore scene, so yeah. I will just, like, go right to stuff that is my absolute favorite right now. <laughs> Darko, yeah, Darko is Sweet. definitely my humanity's oh, last yeah. breath. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm a huge art. Archspire fan. Yeah, because, yeah. Because yes, of dude. Dean Lamb. So, Dean Lamb, if I can convince you to watch this one day, hi. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Amazing YouTuber. Yes, yeah, man. Shout out to Dean well. Lamb if you're yeah. watching, man. That'd be sweet. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> and Brand of Sacrifice. Oh, yeah. Right, and yeah. With that as my round out my like, top bands. Yeah. And you also like Deathcore, but you like lots of stuff too, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, I love Deathcore. I actually re only recently got into Deathcore in the last couple of so years. So we're Deathcore right. noobs, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I love like um, Brand of Sacrifice and like, Shadow of Intent. They're crazy. They're yeah, like, they're cool. So they're cool. They got a bit of symphonic yeah. thing in there. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. I'm also a big like, fan of that. Like yeah, symphonic. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, dark symphonic. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. For, for sure. For yeah. Stuff. Me too, man. Uh, Me too. Do you like Fit for an Autopsy? Yeah. I've heard, I've heard their music. Yeah. They're pretty sick. I like them. I, they're, I'm not, yeah, I'm not they're, that familiar, though. Definitely my one of my favorites. Yeah, dude. For sure. uh, Enterprise Earth. Oh yeah. yeah. Enterprise Earth. Can't go wrong with Pantera. Exactly. Pantera is an easy. Uh, it's always in your heart. Uh, hey, you like the oh, ginger? Oh, yeah, Pantera is an easy ginger. pull. Yeah. Yeah. Ginger. Yeah. All-time favorite. Uh, the symbols lower like that. Oh, it's like their current drummer. drummer. Yeah, yeah, dude. That dude is so good. Sick. Who's that? Sorry, Ginger. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Ollie's hopping back in. Oh, hello. Sorry. What's up? We're back. We were just talking to Marlon about the drummer from Ginger. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So so really yeah, low. yeah. yeah. Super low. Are so interesting. It's yeah, like, dude. I don't know how to describe it. The timing it. is fucking. It's like not what I expected, it's, but it's, yeah. it fits so well. You know, I'm like, absolutely. It's different, yeah. but it's so cool. I love that band. Every drummer is different. Like, yeah, man. Really That's what's cool. Yeah. Uh, right, there's so much difference. I want to say this too. Also, though, I think that the interesting thing about the influences and then his influences and Hayden and I meeting with rock bands, kind of thing like that. Yeah. Is I do feel like, <laughs> and, he, and David's into extreme stuff, like, there's a huge thing where we're more, like he said, we said, we're sort of deathcore noobs. Yeah. So <laughs> when you're kind of rock, and then you go down and start liking deathcore as music that you like, it's but then start writing right. music, right. and then you get together with this, it comes out as hardcore, weirdly enough. Yeah, because it's yeah. like you're kind of, it's beginner metal, <laughs> but it's, it's like, like uh, it's like bluesy you know, metal, kind yeah, of blues, like, blues, southern metal. It's like Lamb of God, like bluesy metal, metal right? Yeah, and it sort of explains how you might get a certain particular yeah. vibe for your band. Yeah. And then people like, like that, people yeah. like rock music. So oh yeah, if your oh, yeah. metal band yeah. has some rock in it, then that kicks ass. On I, I personally love metal shit, and then they just rip out a blues. Right, exactly. Yeah. Just, oh, you know, Zach so Wild yeah. songs, just like Tasty. nice pentatonic, nice and easy, but they just rip it. If you're yeah, going man. like hard with a riff and a sick beat, and then all of a sudden it just breaks down into fucking four yeah. on the floor. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's something simple, <laughs> that so heavy. dude. Come yeah. on, that's actually funny. Like I was just watching your shit on YouTube, and like. YouTube knows what's up because in the algorithm, every time I'd watch your song, I'm trying to watch, or sorry, listen to your guys' music, but it kept throwing on Lamb of God songs after. Oh, <laughs> so I'm like, you know what? YouTube's real, man. They know what's up. Yeah. They know what I want to listen to next, yeah. right? Are you so, a Lamb of God fan? Oh, fuck yeah. Right, okay. man. Who is it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly. I just thought it was funny. I'm trying yeah. to listen to you guys and like two songs and it's like the yeah. algorithm's like, oh, here's some Lamb of God and yeah. stuff. The I'm original, like, back on the original track. first yeah. guy who wrote, helped write some of the riffs, of our band was absolutely obsessed. Remember, Matt was obsessed with Lame of God. Oh, there it is. He had to play Walk With Me in Hell. That's what kind of impressed us about him. It's like, <laughs> yeah. oh, look at him That's play Walk song. With Me in Hell. Yeah. Like, he's obviously pretty decent. Yeah, right? yeah. Like, but that right. was his stuff. Like, that was his. So, that, That's was, cool. Yeah. That's cool. The Lame of God stuff yeah, pops man. on after our music. Yeah, yeah, man. I was like, oh. at first I was mad, and then I'm just like, you know what? YouTube yeah. knows what's yeah. going on. <laughs> They're like, yeah. shout out YouTube. Yeah. What's up? Do you remember what Lame of God song was? Like, Walk Live at download from like 08 or 09 okay. or something. Or it could have been ruined maybe. Yeah. Or pathetic. Yeah. Could have been I all of them. It was a good video. <laughs> I was yeah. having a good afternoon. Let's just say that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking A, man. Hayden, did you want to talk more about that project uh, Travis mentioned earlier? Uh, that does not exist anymore. No, okay. But wow. I'm in a bunch of other bands. Yeah? Um, yeah, what do you got going on? 
So the thing that I'm most excited about right now, there used to be this band down in, in like York, and they pretty much went everywhere. They were called Cadillac Blood. Um, they're not, sadly, they're not around anymore. Rest in peace. Oh, no, yeah. um, but I'm starting another punk band called Civil Misuse with the drummer and guitar player from that band. Okay. And it's going pretty sick. You guys need set together. Set. That's like this. <laughs> I thought this is this is Hayden. This is them. Yeah. It makes love. <laughs> makes love. <laughs> it makes love. <laughs> really. It's fun because we've only jammed Sweet. like twice, but right. because Sweet. everybody is just musicians of that caliber, it's right. already just going. We have like pretty much a full album of material just doing everything online. Oh, shit. Like, yeah. I live in London. Our drummer lives in Newmarket. Our yeah. other guitar player lives in fucking Beaverton. Oh, so shit. So it's like at least That's an uh, hour between everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah y'all got to meet somewhere, right? Yeah, or we usually go to Newmarket. It's damn near, co- take damn near cottage country. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. We're playing in Newmarket at the Lion on the 19th. Oh, okay. Oh, March? You March, March, yeah. March. Heck yeah. Is that, is that like your debut, kind of? Pretty much, yeah. Right on. Uh, civil misuse. Civil misuse. Civil okay. misuse. And what like kind of punk is it? Like an older school or like a new, like a pop punk kind of blink shit? Kind of like or? old school. Like, yes. Um, awesome. I, okay, I don't listen to old school punk, but like it's very much what it, it's inspired by. Right. But, I don't know. I do. Fuck yeah. I'm, I like Idols. Idols is my favorite punk band of all time. Okay. Um, yeah. Idols is But like spot. the other guitar player who writes most of the stuff is more like Pennywise. Right. Okay. Great. Okay. Right. Mm. Yeah. Social Kinda distortion. Was, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sweet. Sweet. Pennywise yeah. is my era. Yeah, like me yes, and him yeah. are not in the same era. Let's oh, just say no. that age-wise. But yeah, Pennywise is like my era, and my wife and I are huge punk fans as well. So yeah. you talking about Pennywise, that's... Pennywise. I would want to jump in and just say that we were listening to Less Than Jake on the way, which... Like was, Operation yeah, like Ivy. Ivy. Ooh, Operation Ooh, Ivy. Like no Ooh. effects. I want to definitely talk about no effects. Yeah. 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 Them. That's awesome. One, uh, yeah. every time I get into like punk, I just <laughs> end up listening to Wolf Brigade. Okay. Wolf Brigade. Oh, oh yeah. dude. Yeah. It's like Motorhead. You kinda. showed me that the one night, eh? Yeah, man, it's awesome. It's fast, heavy. It's awesome. It's, it's like it's Motorhead like, today. Or like, something, eh? yeah, like it's fucking cool. Lemmy. Actually, punk. no, we're talking about uh, we're talking about people who sound like Lemmy. My buddy in Strange Ways, Dylan Speck. He is fucking Lemmy. Dylan Speck really? in Strange Ways. Strange Ways. He's got Seriously, strange. He, uh, uh, he, goes, he goes by Dylan Speck. No, baby, baby, this kid is fucking sick, <laughs> and he makes us all look like everybody bitches. do. Are they, are they still playing? Yeah, let's <laughs> hear <laughs> that. Yeah. 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 Can we do that? Like, Oliver, you'll thoroughly. Let Oliver finish. He's talking about that. But let's all do our best. Let me. Can we? Oliver. If you squeeze my lizard. If you squeeze my lizard! <laughs> you? The ace of spades! It's time to play the game! Yeah, yeah. Lenny's rolling in his grave right now. Yeah, oh <laughs> I don't even know if I want to do it. No, maybe no. <laughs> the ace of spades! <laughs> That's not easy, man. That's no, easy. man. No, no, and no. he did it like it's a pro. A yeah, man. man. He, he I did it like his balls were so. hanging down his yeah, yeah, I swear he warmed up with your bourbon. Pens gloves, they down clock, down to sound. this motherfucker. Oh, dude, <laughs> hit in the calf. Right. Just clankety, clankety, clank. Yeah. But like, like shut uh, up and give it up for like, oh, the other side. Yeah. 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 He's serious. <laughs> He's a real front man. Right. And I love icons like that. Like Fucking right. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, man. Shapes have They feel, shape, you know. They shape yeah. our futures. Yeah. Oh, a thousand percent. Ozzy. Right? Yeah, man. Ozzy's a massive influence. I was I was just gonna say I was scrolling through Instagram and seeing Ozzy posing for a new pic, just gray hair doing his damn thing, and I'm like, that's yeah. a dark this motherfucker. Right? Yeah, oh, yeah, still yeah. long and prosper, yeah. man. They love it. Yeah. yeah, man. They no matter what, the thing, just really. still fucking the goddamn guy, man. Right? Yeah, oh, yeah. he doesn't even stop. But yeah, just like, well, his legacy. I don't want to stop. Right. No, but like exactly. legacy of guys like that, like your Ozzy or like your. James Hetfield, I absolutely yeah. come as a new band with just the utmost respect oh, for man. guys like that versus yeah. this attitude like you owe us something or yeah. it's not fair. No, those guys are absolute legends who earn yeah, all of their status. And exactly. Respect. And whatever win, lose, or draw, right or wrong that they did in their personal lives, as front man, they yeah. absolutely are definitive, yeah. right? So I feel like to be a front man of a band that big, you almost have to be built as like a different human. Like, yeah, you're a different person. I was so watching alien. Like, sure. You're like so alien. Super. Yeah, I was yeah. watching like some Slipknot live, and uh, it was like Corey Taylor. Oh, he's a great friend. Yeah, and Corey's so just, and there's like it, 
you know, a bajillion nope. fucking people out, and he's just like, fuck you, really I'm like, the man with the yeah, mic right now. Like, and it's, the, you his neck is different. also a tree trunk, bro. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's his neck itself. itself. It goes George from ears to shoulders. Oh, <laughs> 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 Kurt Schreiner? Yeah, yeah, Kurt Schreiner's got a new sweet solo album out. Yeah, I've heard that. On Jasta. He's got two songs out so far. Yeah, on Jamie Jasta's record label. Yeah, man. Two new songs out for just Corpse Grinder. Yeah. Solo, he's got like Wings of Carnage and yeah. Acid Bat. Yeah, I'm pretty sure so. We just heard Wings he's of Carnage. He's got Eric on, on the one. Yeah, man. He's a fucking wicked he's guitarist. A beast. I hate think Eternal. A lot... Fucking yeah, cool. man. Oh, he fucking shreds. We seen him back in 2019. Oh, Judge was on there. Maybe 2019. And I think that was right when Eric joined the band. Campbell, like, I, right I saw him when he played with Campbell Corpse, too. I think it was. Was that? Yeah, I was at the music hall. Yeah, were you there? Who yeah, was there? Who I was else there. was there? Uh, the Artist Murder was there. Oh fuck, yeah, yeah, I was, I was at, at that, that show. show, dude. I was supposed right. to go to that show. <laughs> yeah, the right. Mur- the, also the Artist Murder. I is love that. The They're hall. good. Die Art is Murder is playing. That was like just. I don't quote me, but it's a Thursday <laughs> in June, yep. early June, and <laughs> okay, that Die yeah. Art of Murder show has Die Art of Murder after the burial, Brand of Sacrifice. Oh yeah. And how dare you forget Currents? And oh. Currents. <gasps> yeah. How dare you, you forget Currents? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a wicked That's line. That's going to be crazy. Well, Maybe yeah. we can all meet up there. <laughs> oh, we'll we'll right there. Yeah. After Curtis. the burial scene. Yeah. It's going to be insane. Oh my God, I'm getting my tickets. I like uh, Behold the Crown, the song with all the squeals. I, <laughs> that, yeah. 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 I was literally <laughs> just going to say that one. I love that song. <laughs> I, I watched the tutorial, like, this interview where Trent, the guitar player from that, like right. explained how to do it. It was on the Gear Gods channel. Right. And yeah, after I saw that, I have been just, every time I grab my guitar, I try that. Yeah. yeah. Nice. yeah. I love that. Little bit. Uh, Classic. Uh, that is awesome. Pizza Man's going to your house. Uh-oh. Yeah. We got pizza. Pizza, pizza scene. Man. This oh. is the pizza scene. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 no, he's coming. Smart motherfucker. What? Oh, this yeah. Pizza dude. Yeah, no, no, seriously, guys, I'm motherfucking genius. <laughs> we'll just be like, yo, we're just filming a show. Yeah. Oh, let's, uh, 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 chat, man. Just like, filming a porno. <laughs> <laughs> we're just finishing. Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. Seven <laughs> guys in a couch. Pizza dude's here. Here, order the extra sausage pizza. Yeah, pizza dude, Check it out. <laughs> yeah, dude, tell him to come so in. Oh, I'm so still weird. a good Christian boy, I swear to God. <laughs> Who ordered the extra He brought the sauce. pizza. Yeah. <laughs> the pizza. Pizza man. Hi, hi. Hi, pizza man. That's awesome. How you doing, sir? What's we up, got- brother? <laughs> pizza man! <laughs> pizza showed up, everybody. <laughs> pizza showed up. It was and, good. Uh, yeah. You know what that means. What? Who are we shouting out pizza wise? Uh, pizza Bill. Pizza yeah. Bill. Yeah. Brantford. Yeah. Delicious. <laughs> so good. Five stars. <laughs> Did you guys get yeah, wings? And wings the, and yeah. pizza. Classic. What's up, man? Do you guys want to do like some gear talk or something, maybe? Gear talk. Gear yeah, talk. We yeah, can man. talk about our gear for sure. Okay, right. right, man. Who wants to go first? Let's, uh, let's start at mm-hmm. drums. Yeah, oh, dude. Yeah. Oh, hey. <laughs> Never do that first. Well, the drums that we used back there are not my drums. I use their shells. Yeah, they're right. great. Host it's kit. a Pearl reference, right? Yeah. yeah. Reference? Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. So you want to He's talk about that kit, or do you want? Well, I mean, that's just the one in the video. Right. That's why so people, everybody is like, sick. Yeah. <laughs> it's like nice. It. It How'd you like that kit? <laughs> oh, I felt good about it. You like yeah? it? Yeah. Right? You like it? Felt good. Yeah. About oh yeah. I'll, I'm gonna get one. <laughs> I'm gonna get <laughs> yeah. one tomorrow morning, eh? There you go. go. Quades tomorrow. Yeah. That's where I go. Find it. Yeah. 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 See you there, buddy. See you there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna point at you across the shop. Sweet. I see you in that aisle. <laughs> oh, I'll be there picking some. Yeah, well, what kit do you play though, man? You really yeah, what kit yeah. do you play? Yeah, right? My kit, kit right? uh, it's the DW Design Series kit. That's right. Very beautiful. It's got it's the sunburn, mm. orange and orange fade to black towards the edges of the shells. Mm. It's it's very very nice. What's your symbol setup like, bro? Uh, it's, it's a mixture between uh, Sabian and the Zildja, 18 inch A custom crash. Sweet. Uh, it's just you know it's great. It yeah. has that has that sustain. I know exactly fill, what fills, sound you're talking. It about. fills it out, but it, it leaves in good time. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it's got the right amount it's of decay. Great sound oh, yeah. symbols using for killer. The 16 inch A custom crash as well is mm-hmm. very bright and doesn't stick around. That's what I like about those symbols. A hi hat, I can I, I I couldn't care less. It just sounds like a like a good. I, f- uh, I feel like any set of hats works. It's like yeah. the type but, of thing that just kind of slides in there, and you're like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Unless you get a set of hats, and you're like, oh my god. Yeah, so like a uh, setup, 10, 12, 16. Yeah, yeah right. same size shells. Um, right on. Same type of idea. Same type of idea. Mine generally have the toms tuned quite a bit lower. Right. But that's just because I like to thump thump. 
Maybe yeah. next time you guys come back, or when you come back with Mirage 13, yeah. I'll remember that, dude. I'll tune them down for you. I, I, I can do that when I get here. Okay. I also use the uh, DW5000 series double kick pedals. Sweet. Yeah. Very solid. They're the same as the 9000s. The only, the only real difference is that the 9000s are like a lighter model yeah. of the same thing, so it feels like you're... It feels very light, but I right. like having that little bit of umph when I push something down. I want to feel like, like I'm driving a car. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. 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 Yeah, they're they're chain drive pedals, right? Yeah. Yeah. Talk yeah. about your new bass, buddy. Yeah, the new bass. Talk. Yeah, man. The, the new, new bass. bass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where are these packs, bro? Yeah. What kind of bass do you got? Uh, it's Ibanez SR 505. Always oh, good. Man. Are we bringing them into the shot? Here it comes. <laughs> oh, Look at that beauty. Plugged in. Maybe unplug it. It's a, start playing. Yeah. It's an active Play bass. <laughs> yeah. Active pick it's my dude. first base. Are those yeah. uh, just like some Ibanez pickups in there or anything no, special? No, they're actually uh, Bartolini MK1 okay. active pickups. Sweet. Oh. And it's got the three band EQ. Right on. So it's yeah. the toggle for the, yeah. for the mids. Right, right. <laughs> All the different, frequ- different frequencies. Yeah, man. Yeah, and that's fucking it. awesome. It's a tone machine, goddamn. Yeah, it's the yeah. sound. Oh, great, too. You man. can really customize your tone on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and the sure. bridge is pretty customizable, but customizable too, with like the. The spacings and whatnot you can do between the strings. So you, oh, yeah? Yeah. To set your action and all that yeah. kind of stuff, eh? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty solid. Great on. Great on. So you We're started off playing play. guitar, though? Yes. You're, just, you're like a guitar player that these well, guys play, are. I, play, guys play, I know how to play. Yeah. 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 Right. I know how to play all kinds of instruments. He can right. play bass, for sure. Uh, yeah. I know how to play some drums, bass. Yeah. Vocals. Guitar, a little bit of vocals. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. when we finish this up... We're going to do some jamming up. Jam out. Oh, yeah. probably, eh? Yeah. All right. Damon and then for the amp- So tonight we're really shaping Damon's tone as we go. And it's yeah. Really yeah. Awesome. yeah. We use their awesome Trace Elliott. And what's the head of that it's guy? A, it's a Trace oh. Elliott GP12 Series 6. Yeah. yeah. And that had killer tone. It sounded and killer, yeah. Pedal-wise, yeah. what we're really looking at pedal wise uh, standard tuner pedal. Uh, we're then also going into a bass compression by MXR. Mm-hmm. After that, we're going into a blues driver guitar pedal, which... Great. I've personally always found it's actually a great bass overdrive pedal. Like a it's nice buzz, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. No yeah. one little, really uses. Yeah. No. Right. Um, the next thing up the line was actually a Galileo. Uh, it's uh, kind of voices a Vox 30, <laughs> which went in conjunction with both. Like compressor? Oh, no, it's just another uh, kind of like distortion pedal. Okay. In a way. Like, other, like kind of along the same lines as the blues driver. Use them both together. Ooh, it's a sound that's so crunchy it hurts. <laughs> like mm. thick and tight, kind of, oh, right? Like it's, how no, they work it's together. actually really distorted and chaotic. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I really mean chaotic. I used it on tour <laughs> when I was when I was playing bass for being, and it cuts it's aggressive. Through. I heard. No, no, I mean it yeah. cuts through mixes. Like when right. I yeah, want, when I wanted to stand out more Speaker, than a guitar yeah. player, I would crank yeah. this on, and it no. <laughs> me, yeah. me, baby, me, <laughs> me, baby. I love a nice. It was big aggressive. For sure, we're bass. big yeah. bass heads. Love like it. all of us, he likes bass. Clearly, he's a bass player. But yeah. both of us, Hayden also definitely likes bass and plays bass. Yeah. I yeah. Play bass. Oh, he's he plays bass. Yeah. yeah. How can you not like bass? No, yeah, we all man. like. It's <laughs> awesome. Dude. I, I really have taken a liking to it in the past he, few years. Yeah. This it's guy sweet. here, he has the chain of both guitar and bass into one. It's nutty. Yeah. It hurts yeah. me for his side project uh, Shipwreck, right? Yeah. It's nuts. The tone he has is actually like, nah, he's a one man band. Him and his drummer? No. Nah. And do you use yeah. bass in that situation? Uh, yeah. Thunderbird. Um, so I have a Thunderbird. Yeah. The, the Shipwreck setup's complicated as fuck. I can talk about it if you want to. But yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Sure. It's like not good. You probably your, should your talk about Shipwreck setup. Stupid. The video you sent me, I was like, what the fuck is that? Where's the guitar player? And I realized, oh, wait, it's him doing this. We thing. got a segment on our show called Tone Zone. So, I Oh, Tone Titan. Zone is going to be called Hayden Zone. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> for sure. Oh, let's have, have it. Have we'll it. make up Hayden a new graphic. Zone. What's up, Kirk? Make so, up a new graphic. Hayden yeah. Shipwreck's like my solo project. It's not really a solo. Well, it's kind of a solo project. Right on. It's me and my friend who drums. I write almost all the music. Um and it was basically born from... I wanted to start a metal, another metal band like a while ago that I right. fronted, and that didn't work. Couldn't find anybody, so I was right. like, fuck it. Yeah. I'll just play. And then I have a Pog. It's a Pog. Like, it's just, it's a it's the micro Pog, so it's only got an octave up and an octave down with an octave pedal. Right, right, okay. Uh, I was sitting around one day, and I always played like guitar through it with the sub cranked up, but I was like, what if I did the opposite? Right. Because I had listened to Royal Blood, and I kind of yeah. looked up from above. Yeah. yeah. So I, I fucked with that one day, and I was like, this is actually pretty cool. And so I started splitting the signal there, and 
like back then my signal chain was a boss tuner which i have still wd7 yep. which is a wah pedal that ibanez used to make okay is my favorite wah pedal it has so much versatility but they don't really make it anymore right. yeah and then that would go into the pog and I would split out right um since then i've added like a couple drive pedals to it so now because the pog has two outs on it, it has an effect out and dry out right so i play bass <laughs> through it now and i have just the octave the octave above cranked so that takes my effect out so it's basically a guitar sh signal coming out of the pog right. on the effect out and then that goes through a boss Birdie over... notes <laughs> yeah dude, I, like, dude yeah. i'm following the yeah. i got like a battle <laughs> right. any of this. so Speed basically you have the pog moment. And yeah. then there's the bass and there's the treble. And they both go to different, like, <coughs> overdrive pedals. Yeah. Okay. Um, the guitar tone goes to, like, again, a Boss Super Overdrive, which isn't that complicated. They're pretty normal. Right. Uh, it's just yeah. your standard yeah. three-knob overdrive. Yeah. The oh, other yeah. one, however, the bass side goes to a pedal that I just bought recently, which is the Earthquaker <laughs> Devices Palisades, which okay. is probably my favorite Distortion Dash overdrive pedal. It's basically oh, yeah. got two gain channels on it. So you can like hit gain, turn it on, and then hit more gain, and it just gets this more fuck. For like a and then it also <laughs> has it more fuck. Yeah. It has a solo like knob on it as well. Fox. Um, but the cool thing about it, in my opinion, is that it has so variable... The way distortion happens is when you pump a signal too hard through like some form of transistor, yeah, and it right. kind of has yeah. to compress it and lose yeah. it. Yeah. Um, this pedal specifically has six... I think it's six different transistors in it. Oh, and wow, using the damn. knob, you can swap between... like what kind of transistor you are pumping your signal through. For like a different voice wow. or whatever. Yeah, it's right? also got bandwidth variability, so like it can go two above and two below three right. is like normal bandwidth. Okay. I keep it on five for the bass, and it just kind of makes the sound ang like bigger. And that's right. on the bass side. And then, again, I'm sorry, it's really complicated. Both of those <laughs> lines coming out of the overdrive pedals run into basically two kill switches right. that I use to like turn off you know, just the guitar, just the bass. Yeah, so yeah, I have yeah. some form of dynamics. And then those run into two amps that I'm also very proud of. There's <laughs> the guitar chain goes into this old steel guitar amp called the Session 400. Session 500. PB Session 500. They're both okay. PB amps. Okay. And it was created in 83 as like a solution to like steel guitar players having like some studio amps. So right. it's 300 watt output which Holy is absolutely shit. ridiculous for yep. a guitar amp. That's fucking uh, right. Oh, That's yeah. insane. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. The, it's a combo and it has a 115 in it. The combo together like weighs, I think it's 83 pounds. It's absolutely. <laughs> the dude, first thing I did dude. when I bought it is I put casters on the bottom and I put a handle on each side. Yeah. And two oh, people yeah. lift that upstairs. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the yeah. other oh, shit. amp that my base section goes to, also PV amp. It's again from the 80s. It's the PV. It's just called the base. And if you look at <laughs> yeah, it, it, just says base. base on it. Nice. And it's this <laughs> old 80s PV amp. It's got four channels, and I only use the one on the left. But it's got again this weird distortion circuit that's just insane. Yeah. And again, back on the PV Session 500, the steel guitar amp, my favorite thing about it, and the only reason I use that as opposed to like the Marshall I used in this band, which we'll talk mm -hmm. about in a second. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. No, uh, man. I love, <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> it has a distortion channel on it, like most guitar amps do. The difference is because it was a steel guitar amplifier, it's called string effect instead of distortion, and it's a distortion that was modeled to emulate the sound of a bowed instrument. Okay. So it's supposed to make it sound like a violin, right? Or which is kind of gritty as and you drag that. It's oh, right? really gritty yeah. and it's really shrill. Right. That amp right. is either like insane in the mids or like really, really flat. Right. And because I mix that with like my big chunky bass, something that's still, like just sheer and piercing, I want yeah. it to sound as much like a square wave as possible. You're right. And I put that on top. That way you can get like transient response from it, and then I can just have this massive muddy bass, and even right. though this huge bass, which usually you wouldn't be able to hear any notes in, right. is playing, you have that sharp, piercing sound to dignify that each. tells you what the notes are, yeah. and then yeah. those combine, and I have my good friend Darren who drums, and it's just a two-piece. Right, eh? Sweet, yeah. huh? That's yeah. fucking yeah. insane. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I run the, pretty much the same pedal board okay. is for this band, um, the signal chain that I usually use here, again, uh, so... Five days ago, my power supply exploded, right. which is why I didn't have my board here tonight. Sure. Otherwise, I would. <laughs> yeah, I usually run the same signal chain. I go tuner WD7, which is the wah, into right. the pog, which I had never used in this band. And right. then I have my Palisades. And then I also have this other Ibanez pedal that's the delay. I don't remember what it is. It's the little, small, purple one. And it's basically just got like a big sure. delay knob. Yeah, and it's sure. got a blend and it's got a sure. repeat time. And I make alien sounds with it. It's fun. <laughs> Right and then that runs so, into my DSL 100, which I got 
for six hundred dollars because I hate paying full price for things, yeah. which is the same thing with my guitar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I play yeah. a Legator Ninja from two thousand six, I believe. Right. I got it off of Reverb for again, I think three fifty, which Damn. for an eight string is absolutely ridiculous. Steel. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I saw it and then I looked up reviews and everybody was like, "Yeah, this is ten times better than like all of the entry level Jacksons." Yeah, that's awesome. yeah. Because I have a JS thirty two, which is the entry level Jackson, it, like in the King V shape. And yeah, like it's all right. But that yeah. LTD eight string I got over there was like. 380 or something. It was under 400. Oh, Jasmine, really? Jasmine got it for me yeah. for Christmas. That's I was like, what the fuck? Oh, she was like, nice. it was on sale. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Used Jasmine. here? Kicks ass. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah man. Yeah. I think oh, yeah. I don't think that was used. I think that was new and they just couldn't oh, wow. offload it. Man. Oh, used here all day. Yeah. 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 But yeah, same thing with like well, my 5150. You got the matching 7 string, right? Yeah, and then I got the 7 string, same yeah. model. Oh, the clips? Yeah. Yo, I have that too. The EPs? Uh, no, mine doesn't have EMGs. Mine's just the base model, the 257. Oh, okay, but nice. I put the uh, Seymour Duncan Invader in the bridge. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, it's no, a no. little bit much on the 7. I have the Invader in one of my 6s, nice. uh, which is just punchy as fuck and sounds good. But I think for the 7, I want something a little less output. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's no, a little fair. too crunchy and muddy and shit. Like, it's just yeah. not whatever. Fair, fair. No. Oh, I got that. But I it's sweet that. in the 6 string for sure. Awesome. That's a you, crazy setup. Though. Yeah, man. Yeah. How did you acquire, yes. like, that steel amp? Up in that other PV amp, the, the base. What was that? Shit? So it's just PV the base. The amp. base. Yeah. How did you like acquire so those, man? It's really just. There's this because there's like vintage gear that people like love. Like if you see a JCM 800 from like the 80s, oh like, yeah, that's just gonna cost you like yeah, man, yeah, dude, multiple thousands yeah. of dollars. Oh yeah. Yep. But there's this like little tiny niche group of vintage gear that like doesn't really serve a purpose because it doesn't quite hit the like normal sound or it wasn't like made famous back then. It just kind of fell off yeah. the world. Like yeah. you guys have PV Triple X head back there. Yeah, man. Which is not nearly as well known yeah. as like the 5150. Yeah, man. But it's a three channel mm-hmm. amp and yeah. has the exact same gain. It can go harder yeah. than Oh yeah, yeah, man. I think Gary Holt Exodus uses one of them. Yeah. He's got that jub, yeah. jubby yeah. jub shit. Jub, 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 it's that kind of same thing, right? Yeah, yeah. So I got the Session 500 at an auction for I think it was $200. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Which I didn't even know what it was when I bought it. I went there looking for music gear, and I was like, that's an amplifier, and it's heavy. I want it. <laughs> 300 so watts. And then after yeah. that, I was Holy on Kijiji. I was looking for a bass head. I wanted to get, like, I don't know, one of the new fucking, like, trainer, like, little micro 200 watt amps. Yeah. And yeah. then I saw it was the, the bass head, the PP, the bass head. And it came with an electro voice, which is. Good microphone company, good yeah. speaker company, yeah. Yeah. a piano cabinet from fucking about the same time <laughs> right. that like it has a one fifteen in it and it has like a three inch tweeter on it with like attenuation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wants to yeah. Love yeah. The cabinet that yeah. fucking big. Everything's yeah. axe like, effects and stuff now. Eh? Everything's oh. pedals and shit. Yeah. And that's, yeah. Yeah. That amp will never die. I looked yeah. inside of that amp and there was grime on all of the wires. It's only hasn't been cleaned in twenty years. It's a work. Whereas, like, I mean, obviously, tube amps are tube for a reason. They sound yeah. really good. Yeah. Could have yeah. sat in a bar that had been smoked in and just yeah. fucking yeah, man. never yeah. moved, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hot yeah. Sound. yeah. Just developing a sound. Yeah, yeah. Sure. and I'm on yeah. the same boat as Hayden. Same like, I've got this used Mesa triple rack. It's exactly what he's saying. That amp has given way to something that you just said, Axe Effects these days. Yep. And so you're going to grab a very chaste amp from the late 90s, early yep. 2000s, Triple Rec now. I grabbed that for 1300 used. Yeah. Great shape kind of thing. Yeah, man. Taken care of. Yeah. Um, I grabbed that when my, I actually had a Marshall JCM 2000, so I was using right. a very similar amp to him. Yep. And that amp actually got stolen, so that was a very hurting moment for me. Oh, no shit. So the message journey, I was on Marshall for literally the first 17 years of playing music right, and right. the last three years have been a mark or sorry blah, 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 a mess of journey <laughs> Mesa, for me yeah so i'm learning a lot the mess of triple rack i've learned is a storied amp with many revisions oh yeah much tweaking needed it's an it's a wild beast that you yeah, can man. have to tame you yeah. cannot go into a mess and not know what you're doing <laughs> yeah man it's a lot but it's been cool it's been a great experience yeah. i'm using that through a uh, marshall uh 1960 4x12 cab, so solid cab to use. Right that on. With. Oh, yeah, for sure. Gets probably, a good tone. Yeah. Probably got the green and, backs and, uh, in that. Um, I think it is. Yeah. yeah I think that's probably. right. But I couldn't say for sure. I'm not like huge <laughs> right. gear wise, but like I will go for something like, you know, a Mesa, the triple rec that's te- like story, right? It's a, it's, it's a, tried and true, right? right? Exactly. Yeah. It's, You're not, there's somebody agrees with you on that amp. <laughs> yeah, sure, right? yeah. Yeah. For sure. So same with the Marshall cab. And then uh, same with similar conversation what we were having about. You guys picking up eight strings on the cheap, used yeah, or man. new cheap price. 
the Jackson 2021 uh, or 2020 line of eight strings, like they were able to do a price point with the way that eight strings have become <coughs> mainstream in yeah, metal. Man. For they sure. were able to do a price point, which is around like 700 on yeah. those entry level dinkies. Uh, yeah, man. And you can get into it, and that's essentially what it was for me. It was like a lifelong six string player, acoustic player. Is yeah. like, well, you know what? I'm not even going to go to seven string. I'm just going to go eight string and just go live big. it up. And, yeah, you know, and that's yeah, been scary. Yeah, yeah. my journey with yeah. it. He had an eight string before me, and kind of, you know what I mean? Yeah. He's like, get an eight string. Kind yeah, of, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. They're fun. Maybe yeah. I did that. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. He told, maybe. He told me to just touch on like he used a phone during this. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. The phone, the phone yeah. is actually from lovely once again Hayden right here. Yeah. From the psychiatric Hello. hospital from London, Ontario, just off of uh, Oxford and Highbury, right? Yeah. 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 yeah so a uh, hot thingy dang. So me yelling to this thing was one hell of a time. But when I yell into it like this right now, I hear my ear just say no. <laughs> so don't do that. <laughs> uh, anyway, I also play into an, uh, I guess the standard metal mic being the SM58, I think it right. is. Right, yeah. yeah. Um, but other than that, though, I'm more of a guitar player and also a bass player, too. And I yeah. have too many pedals, so. too many guitars, too <laughs> you, everything. Yeah, he's a huge pedal guitar yeah. guy. Yeah. I can come here myself, bring all of my gear, and we can talk for hours. I'm not fucking around. Like, oh, man. Talk. Tone zone it. So, but, I'm but down, honestly, yeah. you guys want to do it yeah. one day? Yeah, man. All right, all right. We're going to have an Ollie that. day. We're going to have an Ollie, Ollie day. day of Tone Zone shit. Fucking right, man. <laughs> we should probably do a hate You ever seen two yeah, whammies that put hate two hate. octaves run through an amp? What's that? You ever seen two whammies run through an amp? Two, uh, two octaves? Up? Two whammies and two octaves. <laughs> no, I have not seen them. No. no. So let's do it. So let's do uh, it. Let's, let's do it. Oh I'm down. Yes. I'll be honest. If my ear, my ears die, it's... Like, yeah. yeah, but we talked about a little bit earlier your vocal approach, and that is something. So, just in his instrument, we definitely use filters on some of our songs and stuff like that. We're right, not scared yeah, to yeah. produce the vocals, yeah, yeah for, sure, for sure. We're also purists, he's definitely a purist and he likes purist music. But I'm a, I'm a producer minded person, so I'm yeah, always man. pushing him to do filters, he's an to, sure. to do truck takes, <laughs> take chances and when we do that that's created some dynamics in our music that yeah, you for sure. yeah, man. yeah I find them in Walmart parking yeah. lots in the right, right. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah vocally there's a lot going on too for sure yeah yeah that's awesome man yeah. for sure yeah um, is there any uh, like dream gear you guys want? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, yeah. We can talk for days. That's a long list. I yeah. Do you want to name you know some what? or what? I really do want to hear what my Maybe just shout out what we want. What's your one piece of dream you know, gear? You know what? Yeah, just say it. I, I, Act, I, I, Act I effect. Act effect. We'll tag them. We'll tag them. No, 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 I want to start. No, fuck that. Okay. I your dream start. sick hit. Dream kit. Just, just <laughs> one word, two words. What would it be? It's not really a specific drum set. But it's like an idea for a paint job on a on a drum set. It could be just assorted drum parts from different brands with different drum sets. But I want it to each shell to be painted like base black, and then yeah. sent to there each each piece is sent to a different uh, graffiti artist. Yeah, and they man. cover the entire oh, thing, okay. and then they put it back together, so it's completely original. This is like a piece oh, of art. Yeah, yeah. dude, no, that's no, no, so, so, so it doesn't matter what the drum set. I think that it doesn't matter what the kit's made of. You just want her. I just wanted to get find the best sounding drums. Yeah, I can find and put them together. Yeah, yep. and there's not sweet dude. Completely kind of like the uh, yeah. cases around it. You're just like eh. right, and it's gonna get a hold of the paint job, so there won't be any like you know brand names or anything. Just a, it'll just be a completely original set. That's some good shit. Sweet. That's sick. That is that awesome. Is right. that, that, that is awesome. That box. David, yeah, Dream, any piece of gear. Yeah, come on. Not anything. even just bass. Anything. Yeah, like anything. Anything. Yeah, it doesn't have to be bass. Like a Kiesel. A Kiesel? Oh, good yeah. Choice. Eh? Great choice. Yeah. You yeah. like those, yeah. eh? Yeah, they're nice. Well, Do you guitar, like the fan bass, fret stuff? Solid. Mm. Because they're yeah, big in that, right? The key slots? Yeah, do a lot of they're pretty nice. stuff. I've never yeah, really played them. Yeah. You can order from their custom shop. I think the custom yeah. shop starts at two grand ish basically. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A lot yeah. goes yeah. way up from Yeah, there. man. I mean, that oh, company's right. owned by, obviously, we're talking gear, like Jeff Kiesler, right? And he's yeah. just like, that guy's a beast, right? He's oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. And guitarist, professional guitarist. Yeah. Love working with him, so I'm, I endorse his choice. Too. Fucking yeah. right. Yeah, that's oh, awesome. Yeah. I think August Burns Red uses a lot of their guitars, yeah, too, or something like that. Yeah. I think I've seen a Christmas Dean's video of them. Just... as also. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey. He's a and Sweet. he just had released his. That or like an Abbasi. Yeah. An Abbasi? Oh, okay. An Abbasi music. Yeah. Those are also pretty tight. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Very pretty sick. What about you, all your hating? Not hand first. 
Go Just ahead. Just live in a world where I don't have to pay for Pro Tools. Hey, for yeah. free Pro Dude. Tools. That's this nice. man, controversial <laughs> acts. This video Yo, just got shut down. This man's yeah. a prime minister, motherfucker. Yeah, that that is some real tools. shit. <laughs> Holy fuck. Man. I can't even I got fired. I bought yeah. a Perpetual, like, because I have student funny pricing. And then, like, as soon as I bought the Perpetual, a month later they came out with, like, the dark version. So, like... I have to look at ugly normal Pro Tools. You can't yeah. have like all the funny dark inverted colors. Yeah. yeah. And then like right now, if you buy Pro Tools, even if you buy Perpetual, it doesn't matter. It's now all like they've partnered with Celimony, so you can get the basic version of Melodyne for free when you buy Pro Tools. This is not an ad for Pro Tools. Fuck Pro Tools. Um, <laughs> it's a sad for Pro Tools. Sounds like an anti Pro Tools. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. But we I don't get that because here. I bought yeah. it too early, yeah, which means I have to pay to upgrade my Pro Tools Perpetual to the newest Perpetual, which is like a couple hundred dollars. And yeah. I'm like, you want Pro Tools just for free, forever. Yeah. 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 I have yeah. Yeah. just free yeah. updates. Yeah. You don't want free a different dog. You just want Pro Tools, but... And I, guess, I guess that's kind of like the ongoing like complaint with Pro Tools yeah. right now, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, you don't pay, you pay for the idea of a perpetual license, you'll always go and go for it. Every, yeah, time. Right. every person who I know who has is like, man, why the fuck did I do this? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know this system so, so well, but you know what? If I try learning like Reef or anything else, I just spend so much time doing this yeah. and that. Mm-hmm. And it's like, well, I just know this, so... Oh, fuck it. A hundred bucks here and there is whatever. Well, we're like... <laughs> I get it, I get it, I get it, but like, god damn. For, for music engineering, specifically music engineering and music production, you don't really need Pro Tools. Like, Pro Tools is Not only the giant it is because of film and, like, time-coded media. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. yeah. It is so like, much easier to, like, produce tracks in things like Logic or, like, FL Studio, where they, you know, have yeah. VSTs built in. Yeah. So you can have virtual yeah. instruments that you don't have to download. Yeah, exactly. yeah. yeah. No yeah. shit. No shit. Yeah. Uh, Pro yeah. Tools comes in the EQ. We use Logic and, and it's great. We VSTs love Logic. Do you guys use Logic? Yeah. Yeah. I love yeah. We love Logic, man. I use Reaper. Yeah. 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 And yeah. Reaper's sweet too. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Dream piece of gear, dream piece of gear, Oliver. He didn't get uh, to For me, um, everything and anything. Any company who wants to give me anything over the sun, <laughs> send it my way, bro. Like, take there it. you go. Yes. Take it. You're bro, a bomb. Where's that one panel that said that Miku, who, where it's an anime voice thing? Okay. I'll take a hundred of those. What was that? Oh. Kor Hatsune an- Miku Pedal. He went to an anime voice. I'll take a hundred of those, Nate. I'll take anything. Yo, bro, bro, send long me long a vibrator and I'll be like, yo, Travis, <laughs> take it away, buddy. <laughs> yo, I don't give a shit. Give me shit. Drums. What? Try, try, hit, hit the drums with the vibrator. With the vibrator. Bro! Oh, hell! Shit. Yeah! Remember, so, remember coming that's, soon, that's, order an entropy well, vibrators. <laughs> who's down? Who's shooting? Please read like a summer Facebook page, please. Yeah. <laughs> remember Anvil? They used to read the vibrators yes. right on their guitars. Yeah, the inspiration yeah, in the house. We'll have, like have like a blast beat. 500 BPM blast beat. Yeah. Gravity blast. Fucking. Yeah. 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 How about you guys? Like, what you do? Yeah. Yeah. What do you? What do you want? Oh man. So my dream guitar would be, uh, you know, Behemoth Negro of or course. whatever. Yeah. Nurgle? Yeah, yeah. He yeah. used to have this signature with ESP seven string V black. Oh, that's I know I fucking want one. Yeah. I fucking want one. Yeah, I fair. fucking want one. ESP doesn't do the King V shape anymore. They just do like that road style. Okay. Yeah. So it, like, man, no. I can't find them anywhere. If I do, the price is ridiculous. Yeah, oh, I do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. You know, if that if I could have one fucking guitar, that would that's probably it. be it. Amp, I mean, I love I'm loving my 5152 through that Mesa. That's that's fine enough Hell for yeah. me now. So I yeah, guess if that nice, was it, that nice that would though. sort of be yeah, my simple a, bare bones. Chains last, yeah. not but least, not but least. We want. Oh shit! Oh, okay, you're like, still you we're still got, doing it. Is it gotta be like an instrument or a you know, piece of gear? He chose gear. Pro oh, Tools. He chose a graphene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something in time. Wherever my yeah, yeah. Ooh, uh huh. Turn around. Like, literally the first thing that came to mind was, like, Final Cut for video editing. Right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Hell yeah, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah I to movie can video be editing, But, no, that's fucking... Well, no, that counts. Like, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. part of the game, but, it like, is a huge part of this yeah. like, counts. let's say you Software have that, you're doing yeah. your thing, what would you do after such? Uh, uh, I would change. buy a pair of Cole's 4038 ribbon mics for the oh, overheads. Oh, nice. yeah. Yeah. Those would be fire. Good. For the overheads yeah. on the drums. Oh, and, then, and then they'd be wicked for overheads here, too. Yeah, man. Oh, dude. Yeah, dude. Uh, mm-hmm. You'd hear mics? my nose breathing. <laughs> you'd be like, Oliver, please stop uh, breathing. Yeah. It's annoying. Yeah, <laughs> right here, man. Yeah, back off. Yeah. 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 
Calm down. He's yeah. sweating. Yeah. yeah, a lot of good answers on this question. Fucking yeah. right. That was just a scratch. Yeah. I didn't have that one written down. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's good, dude. I mean, we musicians... What else do you do while well, you're on the process other than dream about? Yeah, here man. Bro. You buy something and then yeah. you're like, oh, I want fuck, this maybe I didn't thing. want this yeah. thing. What, what else can I get? Why am I buying yeah. this damn thing? And my yeah. wife talks about how we have a lot of cords too. Us musicians are really like cords. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Lots we got of cables. cords for everything. All kinds of cables. Adapters, everything. Yep. Yeah. Power supplies. What's that? So I mean, ridiculously long cord. Yeah. Every time. Yeah. I, there's a couple cords in the studio that there's two 50 foot. Oh boy! <laughs> and yeah, they always seem to get brought out. Yeah. Like no matter the what, it's there's, just a there's a pile. There's a pile somewhere. Well, I think tonight you guys did a really good job. Yeah, I didn't see any sort of long cables. Like, awesome. I felt kind she of contained came to where I was. Like I felt like I couldn't go outside, smoke a bowl, and go. <laughs> ah. <laughs> um, do you guys want to talk about your videos? We were talking about this off camera a bit about uh, you know your videos on YouTube. Yeah, and, and yeah, it, for sure, like, definitely. Let me. I'm sorry it took so long, but Justin Smith, we want to do a huge shout out to you, man. Yep. And Silver Smith Productions. Right? Yep. And Merrick too. Let's give him. Oh, and love. Merrick, my boy. Yeah. We lost Biggest Merrick, kisses and hugs for that man. His name, his production company. Uh, Merrick. I. His, I'll be honest. He's Polish. His last name I cannot yeah. pronounce for the life of me. But like, <laughs> Merrick. Uh, he. He's the man and a half and I'll yeah. be honest you check anything of his and you know it's his I think he goes Merrick W Photographer T yeah. Photographer on yeah. uh, Instagram yeah, him too, yeah. Like, that Sweet. is that for that yeah. so for sure and he took care of my wedding photos too so he oh right on stuff. Merrick so Merrick and then Justin they filmed our video for Fat Tax so yep. we have, do have quite a few videos but if we want to just do a quick we had Fat Tax with featuring everybody other than this right. guy too bad right. he didn't make it because we didn't yeah. even have a bass player in the video dude so <laughs> yeah, I know yeah, definitely could have been in it but yeah <laughs> just but no it, it was our first one and those two guys are the guys who yeah. took care of that for us and then right our on. last video was a lyric video for Mocha and Marlboro oh, yeah. yep. and that yeah. was done by Justin and, and myself and all y'all kind of came up with a concept of it of the Sweet. lyric video well Justin actually yeah. had a bunch of really cool and footage and Justin had footage okay so Justin came to us being like hey I want to do a video for you guys yeah. and we're like I think. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, yeah. Like, absolutely. Wait. Oh, no. He we love that. working with him. And he's, oh, no. And he's actually that, such, a yeah, he's no, such no, a sweet dude. No, no, no. A genuinely such a sweet dude. Nice. And Travis and I just sat there in his bedroom and was like, hey, so really, we looked at some stock footage that he had where he went inside of a place in London called McCormick's, which okay. is a rundown factory, and it's very decrepit. And some of the shots he got... They're pretty wicked. Yeah, they're pretty like good, yeah. evil, like yeah. scary evil looking stuff. And Jackie was scared right away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and there's, there's a few other things that just made me go like, man, that's like good on you for literally giving her hell going inside this right. place because right. I was in there maybe like, right. like uh, mold, six yeah. years ago and, and like I was scared as hell being in there. <laughs> I don't know. I, when, when I see Justin and I see that motherfucker yeah. going in there, I'm like, man, you're tough for going there because like, I don't go in there for more than 20 minutes and you got enough footage for a while so yeah. like, good for you, bud. Yeah. Like, Christ. So huge ups to Justin so oh, hell yeah. questions for the video work. Yeah, yeah man. We, we really like working with Justin but we're absolutely working with, you know, you know, Everybody we're open. My yeah, man. We are so happy to have you guys and now we're working with you. Oh, yeah, so for sure. Right awesome, awesome. Yeah. Like, Thank you. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. yeah. It's dope. I mean, yeah. it's just like another thing. Hey, Uncle Rick is also, we're working with him. Yeah, man. Yeah. Wise, and Chronic like, noise. We should have Uncle yeah. Rick come here yeah. and you guys interview Uncle Rick. Yeah. I was it's thinking that we should have Uncle Rick yeah. on the podcast. Yeah. That would be yeah. sweet. That would be sweet. If he's down, if you're down. Yeah. Uncle Rick, you are. Invite. You are. Extend the invite your way. Awesome, yeah, no, that's awesome. Um, yeah, I was watching on YouTube, like the behind the scenes. Uh, of that uh, Yeah, the make of that. Oh, the right. oh yeah. God. Yeah, that was awesome. I watched guys. it recently Jeez. myself. So yes. I'm feeling what you're saying. There's yeah. some funny moments. There is some funny stuff. It was in there, fun. Man. It was it was yeah, COVID yeah, yeah. while we shot, right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. And Oliver was crazy. And then I was yeah. really I was on this COVID safety commission right. uh, person for that. So <laughs> I was trying to be like the dad on set, but it didn't go well a lot of right. the time. Right. We had fun though. Man. It looks like a fun process yeah. you guys have. We did. I'm yeah. a character. Yeah, Oliver was going ham. Yeah, I noticed that. So eh? That's video, awesome. Actually, I got punched out near the ear street <laughs> oh, right now. Oh, I thought I seen with a black funny. eye or something. Yeah, I wasn't sure if that was so makeup no, or no, something. No, one time, I went to get some beer from my house or whatever. <laughs> and I'm like, man, I'm going to get a six pack. It's going to be a great night. <laughs> and I'm like, three steps.
steps out of the beer store, turn the corner, and then like, hey, motherfucker, oh, boom! <laughs> oh, and just lying like, ah, yeah. shit, we got him. Real story. God shit. damn. That was a bad month for you. Yeah. What? That was a bad month. That was a shit month, bro. That was a fucked up month. For what? How was the one time he had a brand package? He's like, hey, guys, I just got robbed. Oh, yeah. My debit card. This guy from the streets of London, like, real serious stuff. I am tired. I'll eat you, motherfuckers. Oh my God. I'll eat you all. Oh boy. Anyway, Don't pick on this guy. Yeah. You know, the, the black eye in the Fat Tax video was real. It was yeah. It, it was yeah. Funny. And it kind of put him in a mood, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. I was yeah. tired. I was like, yeah. are you kidding me? This oh, is so man. stupid. Yeah, I just wanted man. to have a beer. But your energy was awesome after that, right? Like, you killed it. I was mad. Yeah. yeah. It was good, though. Do you guys, it's a sick video. Yeah. yeah. Do you yeah. guys listen to uh, King810 from Michigan? Sometimes. This guy. <laughs> God. Being literally was inspired by that band in uh, Black Blacktongue. So their, fuck yeah! Did their singer not get like shotgun down in a in a variety I, store or something yeah, no, like I that? Think so yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. No, so it's like, like Michigan. Got to love it over there. Right? Dude, oh, yeah. Yeah. That's fucked up shit. Hardcore. Like their I, water I, is poison. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Their yep. people. Oh, but yeah, that, yeah they're like <laughs> hardcore. Right? Okay. Yeah, Sir. yeah, that that, that, that reminded me of that when you said that. They made me want to throw a fist but not hit him. <laughs> oh, Just in general directions of our Just punch that couch. Oh, you did good. The couch is good. Take it out of the poor pod couch. No, no. It can take it. Okay. Okay. It can take it. All right. It told me earlier it wanted to beat him. <laughs> oh, oh, holy. Sausage. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Masochist. Yeah, masochist. What did it sound like? What? What? Sorry, it's more like... Hey, big boy. I was gonna, I was gonna say, yeah. slap me around right now. I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. I was like, do it, yeah. do it. And I had to, and I did. So here we are. Yeah. Now. The, po- the pod coach has a deep voice. Oh man, slap me, yeah. big boy. I pictured it. At, yeah. You know, bro, bro, like bro, a deep it's voice scary. like, like it's come sit on, <laughs> come sit on me, big boy. So, uh, sorry, you can catch these guys March 11th at Richmond Tavern and 9th. Club Onyx March. 24th, Thursday night. 24th. Uncle Rick. And they let me at the Richmond Tower. March 11th at the Richmond Tower. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, we're busy. And do you guys have any new music on the works? Absolutely, we. It's coming. There's a huge. So there's going to be an announcement. There may be an EP coming out. Sweet. Sweet. Might be a whole bit of change around on things, but you'll see. Very soon. We like EP. Thanks for coming in. Yeah. That's awesome. Like we said, hit up those dates if you're in the area for sure. Yeah. Entropy um, 509. Yeah. Order, <laughs> order, order of entropy. Order of entropy. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. We can say it with the kids. Order, order of entropy. Order. entropy. Fucking A, guys. But yeah. if you do want to check them out, you're on Spotify still under Entropy 519. Yeah. yeah. Continue using Entropy 519 for our socials, guys. Yeah. yeah. For the time being, we'll keep for it For the time being. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Perfect, guys. Thanks for coming out. Uh, Tune up and tune into the next episode. I'm not sure what it is, but it's coming out. Yeah. <laughs> Rockville Studios is amazing. Awesome. Yes. Thanks, oh, yeah. boys. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Thanks man. For having us.